Hey, good evening. I bought this soldering iron kit uh, about four or five years ago. And I liked it. You know, it had a nice on off switch. You could tell instantly if it was on or not. Adjusting the temperature was good, but it broke. I noticed for a while that it was a little wobbly here, and then one day it broke off. And I cannot get it back together. I'm not sure that I want to. I could probably put tape on it or something, but I really don't want to do that with a soldering iron. I can't find reasonable tips for them anymore. Now, I paid $20 for the whole thing. So, four or five years, it's marginally getting my money's worth, I think. So, I thought, well, I could buy another soldering iron from China and maybe just replace the iron. So, I bought one for three bucks. And that's delivered. So you can see the tip on this one is looking a little burned up. And that's fine. I can replace it. And I've got plenty of spares. When I bought this iron, I bought plenty of spares. So there we go. Easy to replace. I think this is a Weller 900 compatible. I ordered replacement tips for a Weller 900 and this is what came and it works fine. So it's easily replaceable and by the way if it would go bad I'm out three bucks. If I get about a year's worth it's worth it. So it's actually a nice soldering iron. I like it a lot. Uh, it has an adjustment here that keeps getting accidentally moved by my hand. So I thought I would set this all the way up, put a piece of tape around it to hold it in place, and then wire it into this one. So I took this one apart to see what was inside. I've got one board with some components on it. Uh, there's the light, and here's how the soldering iron comes in. So I've got the cable to the wall, comes in here, and it's got a variable resistor, of course, a pot. And it's got a couple of components on it. So what I think I want to do is try to replace the soldering iron piece with something else. So I'll take this. Um, I'm actually going to cut this right about here. In case I ever want to put this back on, I want a little bit of room to work with. So there we go. I can splice those together. So I've got some heat shrink tubing. I want to use this small stuff, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get over that. I think that's going to be okay. Put that down in there as far as I can. And this is called solder fingers. 3D printed. I don't expect them to last forever. So I have a spare soldering iron. Okay, so heat this up. Okay, I let them cool, though I don't have to. And we'll see if we can't get this across it. This one has a spur on it. So just have to get this across it. There we go. Now a lot of people use heat guns for this, and I have before. But I happen to know you can use the soldering iron. So working out nicely. I used to use tape for these, but I realized that this is so much better. Now this looks likely as hell because the soldering iron discolors it. Actually gets bits of solder on it's what that is. But very good, very good coverage there. Those should be very well insulated. So can I get it back together? So I have to put the thermostat back in. What you do is put it in and turn it all the way one way. And then move the wheel so that it matches that. There we go. Let's see if it's going to work. And I have a light saying that it's on. So I'll turn that up. Now this iron typically heats up very quick. That tip's probably about had it. Actually, it's still usable some. I'll still use it for a while. 
I like this iron so well. That's what that sponge is supposed to do is clean the tip. But I think it's time for a new tip. But I like this uh, stand. I could probably adapt it to something else. I like the on off switch. I like the variable temperature. But of course I usually use it near the high end anyway. Probably around 380, 400 by this scale. I'll leave this one all the way on. And control it with this one. This seems to be okay. I'm not crazy enough to turn this on and leave the room for a day. So I've got to remember to turn it off until I'm completely comfortable with the way it's doing. Two yarns to make one. I like the stand and that's why I did all this. So if you like the videos please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.